hey everybody in here sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all you and a lot has been going on over the last few days so <sighs> I've been making clips over the last you know couple of days and I'm just gonna combine them all into one so just enjoy okay I am in helicopter mode guess what Okay, they're in the file cabinet. There's only two so far. Um, the thing is, is the chicks, I don't think they can get out of the file cabinet. So I prepared the rest of the van, put down fresh bedding. I put it up a different partition with holes that's only like this big. Um, and I've got everything all secure for them, but I don't think that they can get out of that file cabinet. So I'm trying to figure out what I should do. They don't need to eat, right? They won't even need to eat like for what, 24 hours, 48 hours or something like that. So, I mean, they'll be fine right there, right? Um, well, just tell me what I need to do. Okay, everybody, it's the next morning and it's a bright, sunny, kind of chilly today. And I'm gonna go check, check the baby cheeks. Hi, Mama. I only see one. It's okay. This is how I've got the back set up. The top is actually on the bottom. The top lifts up, but um, I don't think the baby chicks will try and get out for a little bit. And I want to keep them confined to an area for a while. So I've got the food and water in here now. Miss Pris is a big bird, so she's going to take up a lot of room. But I know she can fit back up in there. And there's plenty of room back there for all of them. Plenty of fresh bedding. So I think this is how I'm going to keep it. I considered taking this out. But I think it would just be safer to keep the chickens in here at least for a little bit. So... After they're all hatched, I'm thinking of taking her and the chicks and putting, putting them all inside there and just see how they do. I don't know. Um, they've got all this other area, too. All of this area around here. Um, behind me, there's plenty of room back here. Once they get bigger, I'll definitely take this part out. I had also considered... I had also considered taking this whole thing out and just turning the filing cabinet on its side. I just don't know. Oh. For now, I'm going to put her food out here, though. I don't know how many she's got under there. I just don't know.
Well, looks like she's been doing some housekeeping. <laughs> she's kicked out one of the cracked eggs. I'm gonna go in and see how, oh, I see him. Oh my goodness. Well, she's been out of the nest because there's a poop. It's okay. I see two. Three. One, two, three. Four. One. Two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Five. There's two over here. Three over there. It's okay. Oh my gosh. This is so wonderful. It's about 20 minutes till three, and I'm just going to leave them alone <laughs> until just before dark. I'm going to go in there and check and see if all of the eggs are hatched. And um, if they are, then I'm going to transfer them into the little coop area. Um, and then tomorrow I'll take the file cabinet out. I think that's the way I'm going to go. So I don't know why I'm talking so quiet over here. <laughs> I could talk louder. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I did go back later on that evening, just before dark, to check to see if she had finished hatching all of those baby chicks. So I kind of like put a drape over her face, held it up with one hand, and very gently felt underneath to see if she had finished hatching all those chicks. So here's what happened. Thank goodness. She's eating. Three dark ones, four light ones. She's showing them how to eat. Yes. Seven of them hatched. Every single one of those eggs, except for the one that she removed. <laughs> They all hatched. Settling in for the night, maybe? <sighs> Aside from the birth of my own son, this has been one of the most exciting moments in my life. I can't tell you. It's just glorious. It is a glorious gift from God. So, thank you, God. <laughs> I'm going to finish my coffee, and I'm going to go out and see how those baby chicks are doing. Hopefully, they all made it through the night. Um, it's actually kind of chilly this morning. That's why I got my hoodie on. So, I'm going to take you with me so you can all see how they're doing, too. Well, doesn't look like there's any back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. It's okay. Oh, safe and sound. Good girl. I guess there's nothing else for me to do but just let nature take its course. And so I'm just going to chill out. I'll show you all the other things I've gotten done over the last few days in the next video. <sighs> That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.